Practical Geometry Assignment Introduction to Practical Geometry This module will give an introduction of practical geometry. Practical geometry is used in drawing various shapes and figures that help us in constructing technical drawings and charts. Let us first study the instrument that helps us in constructing various shapes. 1. Ruler It is a scale that is used to measure the length of a straight line and distances. 2. Compasses An instrument with two arms, one sharp and one with a pencil that can be used to draw circles or arcs. 3. Divider it consists of a pair of pointers that is used to measure the arc or lengths. 4. Set square. It is a right angle triangle that is used to draw lines that are perpendicular. 5. Protractor. It is a semicircular instrument that has marking along the circular ends. It is used to measure and draw angles. Let us draw a circle whose radius is given. Step 1. Draw a line segment of the given radius. Name it P, Q. Step 2. Place the pointer of the compasses at P and open it for the required radius P, Q. Step 3. Now turn the compasses slowly to get the required circle. We get a circle with center P and radius PQ. Example, draw a circle of diameter equal to 8 cm. Explanation, we first find the radius of the circle. We know that the radius is half of the diameter of the circle. So, the radius is equal to half of 8 cm, which is equal to 4 cm. Now, let us draw the circle. Step 1. Draw a line segment of length 4 cm. Name it P, Q. Step 2. Place the pointer of the compasses at P and open it for the required radius P, Q. Step 3. Now turn the compasses slowly to get the required circle. Example. Draw concentric circles of radii 3 cm and 5 cm. Also, mark a point K that lies in the exterior of smaller circle but interior of bigger circle. Explanation Concentric circles are the circles that have same center but different radii. We first draw a circle of radius 3 cm from a point O. We follow the steps as shown here. We first make a line segment of 3 cm. Mark one end of it as O. Open the compasses for 3 cm and keep the pointed end on O and turn around the compasses to draw the circle. We now take O as center and draw another circle of radius 5 cm. For this, we open the ends of the compasses for 5 cm. Then we keep the compass's pointer end at O and slowly turn around the compasses to get the second circle. Thus, we get the required concentric circle. Now, mark the point K anywhere outside the boundary of inner circle but inside the boundary of outer circle. 